So what is the easiest, cheapest way to get started in drop shipping and e-commerce in 2018? That is coming right up, right after this. What's happening guys, my name is Sean and if you want to learn how to build a successful e-commerce business, make sure you subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you get updates for whenever I have new videos. And with that said, let's get right into the strategy today. So what is the strategy? What is this easy beginner strategy that can get you started quickly, start getting sales uh, without spending a ton of money on Facebook ads? Well, the answer is Instagram influencers. Yeah, I know, it's nothing new, uh, but I wanna tell you how I am using them recently because I know I've talked on my channel about not using Instagram influencers too much before, but here is what I am doing. I'm testing a few different things, but with Instagram influencers, before I'm going out and reaching out to these influencers, I'm setting up a Facebook pixel on my store as well as a Google remarketing pixel. So those two pixels, they always have to be on your store before you reach out and drive traffic from the influencers. Now, why is this important? Let's hop into my computer here and I'll kind of try to sketch it out to you about how this whole process works, okay? So let's hop right in. All right, so I am here in my computer and I did a little terrible sketch here about how this entire process works. Now, let me talk through this, okay? So first, you're gonna go to the Instagram influencer here, okay? Uh, but again, make sure you have the Facebook Pixel and Google Remarketing Pixel set up on your store. The Facebook Pixel is really easy. You just copy and paste your uh, Pixel ID into the store area, the online store and preferences area, I believe it is. The Google Remarketing Pixel, you're just gonna have to create an AdWords account and then create the Pixel and then install it on your store. Now there's an app that I just started using. Uh, I'll introduce it to you guys next week. I'm still testing it. Uh, right now I currently do all this stuff manually, but you want to have these two pixels that's extremely important before you drive any of this traffic to your store okay and i'm going to tell you why now let's drive let's say we're going to drive traffic from an instagram influencer to our shop if we don't have the pixel on there they are basically gone forever right and about 95 to 97 percent of people who come to your store will never buy on the first time get that into your head okay they do not buy on the first time 90 95 percent of people or more what does that mean that means if you do not have your pixels set up on your store, your Google and Facebook pixels set up on your store, you are losing 95 to 97% of people that visit your shop, your Shopify store, and you're losing them forever, meaning you can never advertise it to them again if you don't have this pixel data on your store. Now, let's say we do have the pixel data. Let's say we have the pixel, the Facebook pixel here, and the Google pixel, the remarketing pixel, installed on our store and we drive the Instagram traffic to our store. They come to our shop and then they leave our shop, right? Like let's just say they leave and then we retarget them on Facebook and Google, right? And retargeting is basically you are showing a message to them, someone who's already been to your store, right, from these IG influencers, you're showing them a message again. So have you ever been to Amazon or any kind of website and then you go to another website and it seems like they're following you everywhere? Well, that's exactly what Facebook and Google do. Now, what's so unique about this strategy? Well, nothing's really unique about it. There's other people that do it, but a lot of people just focus on Facebook, right? By adding in Google here, by adding in Google and remarketing on AdWords and display and all the properties and ad networks that Google owns, you are opening up a huge, huge new window for uh, websites and targeting opportunities off of Facebook, right? And that's just massive because Google is way bigger than Facebook when it comes to traffic and in terms of like search intent traffic. So this strategy right here is giving me some pretty good results so far. I'm still doing some testing, uh, but IG influencers, why is this the cheapest, easiest way to get started? Well, IG influencers, they're easy. They're, it takes a little more manual work to find the right ones, but by getting cheap shout outs for them, like under $50, under $100, and getting traffic to your store, and then retargeting that traffic on Facebook and Google, that will lead to more sales, way, way more conversions than if you're just driving Instagram influencers to your shop and not retargeting them on Facebook or Google. So in my opinion, this is the easiest, easiest strategy for a beginner to get started getting sales with the lowest amount of investment financially. Uh, I know I always talk about Facebook ads, but this is a very easy way to, for you to get started, is just figure out who the Instagram influencers are, and maybe I'll make a video on this in the next coming week. 
find out who a good influ Instagram influencer is depending on your niche, drive the traffic to your shop, but make sure you have the Facebook and Google remarketing pixels on your store, then retarget them. You can retarget them with a discount code, like a 10% off and say, hey, come back to our store and purchase. We saw you looking, but you didn't buy it. And then you convert way more people than if you just go here, Instagram influencer to your shop and, and then you're done, right? You convert way more people by doing it this way. So. This is my recommendation for you to get started. It, I'm still testing uh, Instagram influencers because I'm mostly a traffic guy, Facebook ads and Google. Uh, but I'm testing this and it's cheaper so far, right? It's, it's, it's definitely a cheap way to go. It just takes a lot more manual work up front in finding the Instagram influencer here. So that is the strategy. All right, so I hope you guys like that. Uh, I'll do a more in-depth kind of tutorial on this next week, but this is a strategy I think that you need to be using if you don't have a lot of money to invest. I think that Instagram influencers, it does require more manual work because you have to reach out to like hundreds of influencers to find the right ones and test them. But it, if you have the pixels on your store, if you have the Facebook pixel on your store, the Google remarketing pixel on your store, and you drive this traffic to your store, you now pixeled the traffic that came to your store and you can, you can reach out to them again. You can market to them again without losing the data that you, pay, you already paid for with the Instagram influencer, okay? So you need to be doing this, you need to be thinking like a marketer, like don't just think that you're gonna drive traffic to your store and if they don't buy them the first time, they're gone forever, right? Retargeting and remarketing is just a massive opportunity. If you're not doing it, you're just, you're just plain stupid, okay? So make sure you're remarketing on your store. Get the pixels installed right now. You can find easy to do instructions on how to do that online. Uh, just do a Google search, but I hope you guys liked today's video and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought and I'll see you next time. He